I did give my specific question at the meeting two weeks ago. Like, for example, the uh, student services position that was that that you know I had some concerns about. I sent you an email about it. You and I, and I asked questions about it. You uh, extended the job anyways. Then it doesn't come up on the uh, on the HR report at the last meeting. I think Tiffany said it would be at the next HR report, and it's not here either. And then that's not a lateral move, correct? Sure, it's it's actually in that case. And those every question you've asked has been answered. Mm -hmm. um, and in that case, the individual went from one lane to a lower lane to accept that position, as they yeah. competed for that along with all the other candidates. And that's lateral. You call that lateral? Well, it's not a contract change. There's nothing that was a promotion. You use the language promotion, there was no such thing. So why did you think Tiffany would be on this HR report? I didn't say it would. I don't think in the last meeting you said it would. No, I said you should wait until we had all of the information that you requested. Okay. So, yes, go ahead, Tiffany. I would just like to say that um, the hire that you're discussing is not on this HR report. That's my point. <laughs> because it isn't official yet, so we'll go on next month's HR report. Okay. Yeah. See, and I don't, but I don't agree with that because here's my, my overall concern is just a fundamental practice of government that we're elected, we're supposed to provide the checks and balance to the bureaucracy. I mean, it's like. You know, we have the power of the purse. That's why we approve the budget because we represent the interests of the community. And and so we have employees that are concerned about, continue to be concerned about the hiring practices. They talk to people in the community. They call me and I agree with them that there is some issues going on that, that need to be addressed. And then the idea is that as a member of the board, I can help correct that by voting against it. But if it's not on here, like this is the first I'm hearing now that the, the reason now that this job isn't going to be on there and I'm not going to have an opportunity as a board member to weigh in. And that's where I think then that we're, then we're defeating the purpose of having a board if the bureaucracy can continue to make poor choices and, and there's no opportunity to fix those. And I... Right. And, 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 you know, like we got an email today from a member of the community that I'd like it to be part of this record. We all got it. And so here's a copy that I can. And is that part, is that secretary. relevant to the human resource department? I would argue that it's not relevant to this human resources report. So. Well, I know, but I think that's just part of you protecting Mikhail's bad behavior, and that's just not. We have different value system, so mine is. I'd like to pass it to the, so so it can be put in the record. But you know, and then change this because I do think it should be changed. I totally agree with Michael. I think too many of these are just done, and and because. We don't have a voice in this because of this new definition, because this is a new definition under Mikkel. I really do believe this is a new definition under you. Not let's, can I, okay. let's stop for just a minute and let others speak. Um, but I do think some of these administrative ones are real, the ones that are more problematic, let's put it that way. And I do think they are problematic. Because a contract, when you hire somebody as this and then they become that, even though they're on, on a continuous contract, it's like, well, wait a minute, you know, that's not how we hired. I mean, we approved them to be hired in this position, and now you've changed their position and we've had no voice in it. I think that's where the problem comes in. I do you hear that this is something that you'd like to bring up again? I hear it, and I've heard it from more than two people. So we will bring it forward on the agenda. My thinking is that we should do that with the next superintendent I in the room to I have agree. that discussion. I so I having a chart director. And our new HR director. So having that discussion I agree. now as part of the consent agenda is less useful. I agree. But I hear it, and we will put it on an agenda. But, but I do think it's relevant then, you know, the members of the committee are asking that we do a hiring moratorium on the district level until the new superintendent does get here. Okay, we're yes. now on we're, we're an action agenda on this particular, we're on the right. action agenda for this particular HR right. and to me it is relevant to this because I'm saying maintaining that the stuff is missing on this HR report just like we've just been articulated by 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 Rosemary is that you know there's some I'd like this is first I've heard why it's missing so that's why I, I'm going to vote against it I agree with the community you know suggesting that we that we even do a moratorium until the new superintendent gets here all right all right I think we're ready to vote ready to vote on this 
um, on this particular item on the from the consent agenda to the action. All those in favor of accepting this report as moved, say aye. 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 All those opposed. And I'm voting no. 